So today I'm working on my gate opener that I made back in 2017. I finally had a failure on it. Uh, the safety lights for the opener failed so I had to get some new ones of them. Otherwise I haven't had any issues with this thing. Um, it's worked really well. Uh, apologize for the road noise but you know you got your gate by the road so uh so this gate opener i built here is a chamberlain belt driven garage door opener and now my dog is outside of the fence where she does not belong so abby come here Okay, so I got this flipped around now, so we can take a look at this, and I got the dog back in inside. So, uh, this is my opener. It's a Chamberlain opener, belt driven. You can see here, uh, it's got the Wi-Fi, my Q which is really nice if I'm not home I can open the gate if I got a delivery coming um, so one of the things that I did is we can get down in here I made a metal plate here and I put two idler pulleys so the belt goes comes in down here comes around that and then it comes up around the sprocket here back down and then back out this side and that's worked really well for me I think one time in all the years that I've done this or had this running it's come off of this pulley down here <laughs> so I just taped the eyes together it's close enough to the house that it picks up the Wi-Fi signal and I'm able to control it with the with my phone so I built the gate myself ordered some tubing from my local supplier for the size that I needed ordered these online I don't even know where anymore but I'm sure if a person looks they can find them so. get a little farther shot here this is my gate I got about a Oh, I think it's 14 feet from this post here over to that post. And the gate moves about 12 feet. And that's with a stock belt from, from Chamberlain that comes with the opener. So you don't have to buy, you know, like your 10 foot yeah, your 10 foot opening. You know, you don't have to get a longer belt or nothing. It's just a stock belt, which is nice. You can get a 12 foot opening with that. Here's this end here. Just made a bracket off of my gate for this. And that's how you tight as you can see it's been on here a long time this chain has really really gotten rusty but it doesn't matter because it doesn't use the chain part you get out of there come on we'll go down here this took a little bit more doing for this end of it because i wanted it so in an emergency i could still move the gate so i used the this part from the you know 
that comes with it for so you can open your garage door when you don't have power or if it fails. Abby, come here. Come here. So the wind is just ripping today and I wanted to talk about uh talk about a couple things that I missed uh here my posts got them cemented in sorry for the wind hopefully you can hear me but uh these posts I dug the holes out four feet deep a little over two feet in diameter and filled them with concrete and then the other thing is the motor in here the uh, in order for it to uh, so the motor there I switched those two wires around to get it so that when you're using the app it will you know show that it's open the gate is open when it's open and closed when it's closed otherwise it's backwards the one last thing that I was gonna mention is uh, when I built this there weren't a lot of options for cantilever gate systems so I that's why I went with the the Chamberlain and uh, did it the way I did I see that now there's a lot of different options on uh, Amazon and eBay you know for probably about the same price as I paid for for this um, the only difference is is those don't have the Wi-Fi and the battery backup this has uh, a little 12 volt battery in it for uh, for the backup. You could probably hook up a larger car battery. Um, and those other ones are chain driven versus this being belt driven. I just thought that the belt would be a little, little longer lasting uh, being here in in Minnesota, close to the road, who knows, you know, salt getting thrown on it and stuff like that. So that was my reasoning for it. Um, you know, you go into the the more mainstream ones, you know, LiftMaster, Mighty Mule, you're gonna pay, you know, over two thousand dollars for them. I have about three hundred bucks into this. So. That is my gate opener and my gate um, and how I did it. Thanks for watching.